Aufnahme starten. Okay. So I think that is fine. Let me see. Let me check. Hello. Hello. Hey Alex. Hi. Can you hear me better? Uh seems to be fine. Okay. I better think. than last time. Yeah, I think so. Definitely. I can hear you clear. That's awesome. So let's see. So what's the plan for today? I think you did send me a TVT. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that was... one. I see. It wasn't that good a game, but it went into late game and I kind of fell apart. Oh, okay. Yeah, late game is... But it's it's nice that you went into late game at least. I mean, most TVTs are decided in the mid game currently, I think, so... That's quite something. Yeah. Tried to go into battle cruisers and I just couldn't keep up, I think he... He just okay. outproduced me, I think. I don't know if you watched it. Uh, I had a glimpse. But that's it. So, are you gonna join the party? Uh, hold on, I gotta open it. There we go. Oh, great. Okay, now at least if you go battle cruiser, then you know uh, you have a basic plan for late game. That's good. So, let's just have a look what exactly happened there. Let me turn down my volume a little bit. Okay. So look at that, Platinum 2 now. How does yep. that feel? I don't know, it went pretty quick, huh? From two weeks ago to <laughs> from gold to Platinum 2. Yeah, awesome. Next step, Diamond. Go, go, go. I've, they've been pinning me up against Diamond players, and I've won a few of them. Nice. Lost a, lost a bunch too, but I've won a few. Nice. That's the spirit. Well, as soon as you hit Master League, then it's getting a little bit more difficult. But yeah, up until up there. until Diamond, it it can go pretty damn fast, as you see yourself. It's it's not big magic, just basic understanding, implementing, training. That's most of it. It's just having the consistent opening, and that, and that leads into a better yep, economy. It, and it's just from there, it's just gotten better. It helps a lot. That's for sure. Okay, so you are bottom right hand side. Okay, let's see. Okay, no wall off for you. That's interesting. I usually don't wall off against Terran because I usually don't have a problem with them rushing by. Okay, no, that's that's I only, fine. I usually only wall against Protoss and Zerg. Mm -hmm. That's totally fine. I think there are only some rare instances where you need to wall off. Maybe it can be helpful against 4 Rex Marine Proxy. Right. Uh, but other than that, you not really need it. So it's it's totally up to you. It's just not the standard not walling off in any matchup. But if you if you're doing fine, then don't change it. It's it's totally yeah, I fine. Lost, I haven't lost any of that yet. Awesome. Why is he gas stealing? That doesn't make much sense. But it's annoying. Oh, do you want to know how you can prevent this from happening? How's that? Uh, the gas steal. How do you do that? Um, to prevent it from happening. You mean? Yes. Yes. So, it it's against normally no Terran will gas steal. But Protoss tend to do it and Zerg sometimes as well. So mm -hmm. what you need prevent gas steal is send an SCV to the gas and then put it on hold position. Oh really? Yes. Um, if you if you just have it on stop, it will get pushed out and he can build it. If you put it on hold position, you know when then it's like the same as if you want to place a building when there is a tank in siege position, you can't build there, or a bird right. circling or anything. Right. So just okay. 
one SCV there, hold position as soon as his SCV leaves the base, put it back to work. It costs you a little bit of mining time, but I do it not against Terran because you never, I mean, I see this the first time in, I guess, my life in TVT, that yeah. someone is gas stealing. It, it happens mm -hmm. one out of a thousand games, I would say. But against okay. Protoss and Zerg, yes, Protoss tends to gas steal me like every fifth to tenth game, depending on who I play. And yep. therefore, because then he he he, sto he he stales your Reaper, so because you need to kill it, it grants vision, it's annoying, it limits you in your opening, that, so I, I prevent it if I can. Yeah. For me, it doesn't hold me back too much, because shortly after, I usually have the second command center, and I can usually take the gas down there. Yeah, it's, the it's yeah, fine. Harassing me. But still, normally, if you would go for the factory right now, which should be the basic plan, then you want to get the gas right after or even before depending on the build so that's that's this thing now you're limited to one gas which will it will do one thing to you you won't be able to get normally a raven straight uh after the starport and the tech lab i think or even if you can't get it then you won't have uh, gas for a tank or anything else one gas is not enough so it, it still limits you. If you're doing fine, sure, but just for you to know, it limits you in your options. Right. Overall. Yeah, you, I've been getting the second gas like right after I build my factory is usually when I'll go for the second gas. Yeah. Oh man, this Reaper is so annoying. Do you have a Reaper yourself? Did, yeah, no. No. Did you skip it? Yes, okay. No, I just got Marines. I just killed that. So he cancels that. Uh, commands. Yeah, multitasking is a little bit off here with command center not being produced. Stuff like that. So. Yeah, this wasn't my best game, but it was a game that went long, so that's why I chose it. The nice thing is, um, you see him. That that's the good part. While you should focus mostly on your base and your macro. Have a look on him. Um, he's on 30, no, he's he has less supply than you and less worker even though he killed three of your SCVs. Mm -hmm. So all his harassment did just yeah. lead to him being a little bit not quite equal to you. So this means well, you're still ahead. That, yeah, that happens in the lower leagues because I've watched replays whenever they harass their yep. minerals always go up and yep. they're not building workers and yep so exactly that so up. that's that's why i tend to tell every student up until diamond focus on your base even in master league 3 tier 3 there is so much even in gm potentially uh I, hero marine said it below top 100 gm there is still so much you can improve it's difficult sure but it's far off from being optimal so just focus on your game, your base, try to defend, uh, maybe maybe get some vision, you know, and after killing the Reaper, grab the watchtower, stuff like that, just that you know when he's moving out, you can prepare, you got time to set up your tanks, that's, that's something you can do, but other than that, I wouldn't try to do fancy drops or, or Benji micro, or I don't know. It, it's not needed. In most cases, you will just fall behind, as you just said yourself, if you watch replays and they try to harass you and they get damage done, it's still not enough. Yeah. The only harass I've been doing is usually early, I'll load up two medevacs with like a Widow Mind and Marines. Yeah. And uh, go try to burrow a, a Widow Mind in the back of their base. Okay. No, that's, that's and then fine. Harass and then get harassed and then get out of the way and come yeah. back. That that's fine. If you don't overextend, if it right if it doesn't take you long, or many actions to perform some good harassment, then it's worth it. But if you if you need to micro a lot of reaper, throw grenades, Benji, stutter steps, it will take you half a minute, maybe one minute, and you get eight yeah, SCV yeah. kills. And but he's just producing better. Maybe get in a third base. I don't know. Depends. And meh. 
So right now I'm going for the drop and I'm building a bunker on the front just in oh. case he attacks me while I'm dropping. Yeah, he's uh, dropping you as well. That's and you're right unloading on the medivac. That's uh, under the turrets. Yeah, a That's bunch of missile turrets, which I didn't expect. So okay, uh, let's fast forward just a little bit. Okay, okay. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so so here's the deal. Uh, maybe just a little bit. Ah, come on. Okay, let's see. Stop. Nah, still. It, it's okay. So he, here's the deal. You got one scan left, which you could throw. So if you're dropping, then you need to make sure that your medivacs don't get killed. So either throw a scan, you need to monitor them a little bit. And so if you throw a scan, I, I would either you stick with the medivacs or the cameras located on the medivacs so that you can evac them if you see turrets to don't lose them. Mm -hmm. um, or just you need to monitor them. Otherwise, in, in this case, you're just throwing them away. I don't know how much damage you will deal. It's It will be some damage. For sure, but it's not ideal, and you boost it way too early. So if you are here where your medivacs are right now, there that that's the time, the distance when you might start to boost normally. Um, so they are, f if 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 you if you go to his base right now with the medivacs and you boost, you would just boost now. Um, the time they reach the supply depot. You could still have the boost activate and get away from Vikings or anything so to make sure they survive. Otherwise they would be slow medivacs and potentially die. To yeah. stimp marines for example. So that's why you wouldn't like to boost that early. And most people usually don't have turrets this early, so that surprised me. Yeah, that's yeah, I true. Wasn't at it at all. So Scan before dropping, and that holds for any matchup. Still there, you're breaking up. Yeah, I'm still there. I was just saying, scan before dropping. Yeah. Mm, so. I wanna go back here to see what's with your stim pack. Oh god. Okay. It's probably delayed. Okay. I don't even know if I have it. Okay. So up until the six minute mark you still didn't research stim and you are finishing right now the tech lab. You have the money. So if you if you build the tech lab you should set yourself some kind of mental timer of 18 seconds, 20 seconds. After those 20 seconds the tech labs is done and then you need to fire up stim. In this game you won't start stim for such a long... look at that. Still no stim. Still no stim. You want to drop. You're going for the drop. Still no stim. Where's your stim man? His stim is done, and your stim is still not fired up. Those marines you had dropped in his base could have dealt so much damage to his mineral line with stim. Um, yeah, his uh, overall his upgrades seem to be more on point. Mm -hmm. He he's playing a little bit too defensive, and his macro is not really good with the. SCVs and and marines, barracks and so on, but his basic gameplay seems to be on point. He got the watchtower, something you should have as well. Mm, yeah, you're losing the barracks now. You did defend, so that's nice, and it's 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 not over by any means. But as you can see, you're banking up a lot of minerals, 1k, uh -huh. and. <laughs> Okay, if you bank up too many minerals, uh, go get one CC and three barracks. Just throw them down so that you can produce as soon as they're ready. 
you got the money, spend it on on, on something. It it doesn't matter. Most yeah. basic goal would be just spend all your money all the time. That's that's macro. Mule if you can. So you had some mules now. The rest is for for scans or anything. That's that's fine. You don't want to over mule. So and you got some bank. So it's good that you don't mule too much here. In a normal game, uh, you you normally want to just mule whenever you can. But here it's it's not the biggest issue as you have the money, and you can go up up to five racks, eight racks. Even you could do it with the money you got, potentially. So now. You spent all the money. There's the command center. Perfect. I would maybe have the command center placed here and then lift it down there. So it's not as risky to get cancelled if he drops stims in. You would need to cancel. In your main base it's more safe. Especially when you have uh, expansion that near to your main base. Yeah, I should have probably gone there. I think he even harasses it, I think. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's have a look. Oh yeah, there's the Okay, it's one scouting marine still. It's not too bad. Uh finally you get them. The 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 fun part is that this game goes into super late game. While he will be on 2-2 against 0-0 zero, zero marines without stim or combat shields. That's amazing. I don't know how you manage to do that. I think the command center is slightly off place on the third base. Doesn't look correct here. I'm working on 1-1 one, one finally. Yeah. So try to have the command center placed on the it's it's one tile too far away from the mineral field so it could could be a little bit nearer he's very passive i have to say so if he would have been more active i don't know how you managed to to overcome him that heavy in in supply that's that's very interesting so you push out now, you still need combat shields. Maybe try to have the tech lab in the same control groups as, as the command center and try to remind yourself of any upgrades. As well as the armory. In this game your armory is quite late. Yeah, this isn't the best game I've played, but like I said, it, it went late, that's why I chose mm -hmm. it. Yeah, no, it's it's great. I mean, I see so much where you can work on, and that's awesome. That's exactly what this is about. Show you where you need to focus your thoughts while playing, where you should focus. Especially like the gas geysers, they should be saturated mm -hmm. on every base. You need those, especially if you go up to four starports. That's crazy. But it's okay. But you need the gas then. Uh, with only the little gas income you have, you can't supply them. So you need like six to eight gas geysers mining constantly. Especially if you want to get upgrades as well for your uh, army. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I think you maybe you were a little bit flustered, or maybe thinking nothing at all, which is not. Not rude for me to say, I, I hope so, just no. it's it's difficult, I know, to actively think of every action you're doing. Mm, what you can try in TVT, first of all, always have the watchtowers, always, always, in every matchup. It's difficult in TVP and TVC sometimes, but in TVT, fight for them. Get mm -hmm. this vision, you need it. At least you don't want have him to have it, you know. If no one got the vision, it's ev it's it's still not perfect, but it would be better. Mm, what you could try now, you're very defensive here. Oh yeah. Um, if you are not doing anything with your army, have the tanks sieged up. Yeah. I guess I just didn't because. 
I didn't know if I was if he was gonna attack at a different place. I wanted yeah, to be able to get up. Yeah, that and move. that's that's the thing with division. If you know where he is, then you don't need to be scared of your po your tanks being out of position. And also try to spread them out a little bit. Have them on positions where they are useful. This tank on the third base is super snipable from the low ground. Mm, it would be a nice idea to have it if there wasn't any low ground for him or any way to drop it because then the marines would need to go through the planetary and the tank mm -hmm. but rather I would have had the tank maybe next to the gas geyser with a turret on top of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you cover most of it and it's quite secure. This tank is... Nah. and also Try to spread out your tanks. Never have them clumped up. So... I don't have an example on this game so far. But you can... Basically you can learn a lot of him. In this game. If you watch what he's doing... He, he has a... He has some good vision. Like this marine down there. Marine and sensor turret there. He got the Xenara turrets. And his army is on top. So basically he sees the entire map. Or at least most of the pathways you could choose if you want to attack him. And that's what you could try to establish yourself. That you've okay. got the vision. And of yeah. course, combat shields. Yeah, I'll practice that. Research combat shields. Very important. On the plus side, I had... 35 more supply than him right now. That's, that's nice. 32. Now now imagine your 3-3 three, three would be halfway done and your army would be as equipped as his army. Right. That, that's the difference. If you would have had that, you could have done everything you want. Especially if you would have had the vision he got. Then you would have him outplayed him in every aspect of the game. So let's see how this attack goes. I would also, if you got the money, and in, in your league you got the money, um, because you're not spending perfectly, you can get sensor turrets up on some locations. Like the third base would be a good location, mm, the fourth base, maybe the main base. It's okay to have some. Don't like seven or eight, but two to three sensor turrets can help you a lot. Yeah. For four vision. You really should. They are also somewhat decent against blink all ins, I've heard. So, there was a time in Heart of the Swarm where pro players used sensor towers against blink all ins to know where the stalker are going. So, they never were caught on surprise. You're breaking up, I can't, I can't hear you. In TVP, sensor tools are also quite useful against blink all ins. Right, yeah. So there was a time in Heart of the Swamp where pro player uh, got sensor turrets in TVP against Blink. You defended quite nice this this attack. What you would need to do then is counter attack. You crushed his army. Like he plummets one down to 100 supply. And if you take such a good win, go across the map, try to find damage. If you can't find damage, you can retreat back at home, that's fine. But you, if, if he wants to retreat, go after him. Yeah. Especially when you got such a great win. Here, this win was awesome. You got so many tanks, so many marines. Like 4 tanks, 30 marines. That's, that's really good. And I think that's what you're doing right now. So that's exactly what you need to do. The problem is you're fighting with bad upgrades. That's that's a little bit sad. Okay, so let's see. There's the turret. Banshees. Okay, never fight in a planetary fortress. It's good that you turn back. So now he has more Vikings. His upgrades on the Vikings are also better. There is one thing which you can do um, if you have problems with keeping up with his Vikings. 
it, sometimes it can be hard to break the Viking card of your opponent. And what you can try, first of all, you would need to have more barracks and more factories. So normally, go up to 8 racks and 2 to 3 factories. It depends on your spending skills. Yeah. And what you, what you can try against massive Viking fleets is get one or two Thor and put them into the high impact payload. It's not ideal. Uh, what's the range of the Viking? Nine or ten? Nine. So the Thor has a range of ten. It doesn't grant you high ground vision. But it has more range than the Viking. So with the Thor, you can, um, you can deny his Vikings from granting him the vision onto your tanks. So it will, it will, um, produce some kind of stalemate mm -hmm. where neither his Vikings can grant vision nor your Thor. But one Thor does cost not as much supply than like 10 vikings so with the one or two thor you will render most of his vikings useless basically and you don't need to care too, ma too much on the vikings um, the vikings won't do anything against the thor so they are not that efficient anymore when the thor hits the field otherwise you can go up to four starports like you did and just overwhelm him somehow with more vikings and better upgrades in this game, I don't know if that's working or not. In this game, I just started going with battle cruisers. The the battle cruisers are nice, but you need something to support them, which would normally normally you want to have a mixture of battle cruiser, Viking, and Raven. Just battle cruiser alone won't do it. They can be kited. But if you have Raven with the um, point defense drone and the seeker missile, especially with the upgrades for the Raven, then the battle cruiser become very strong. I never used Ravens. I need to incorporate them. I don't think I. Yeah, that's I the next know. step for you to get used to casters. So here you're taking a very bad fight, I guess. Let's see. That's that's the upgrades. I think with equal upgrades, you would have crushed him. You still win, but this that that's interesting. That's not too bad. But with equal upgrades and the combat shield, you would have crushed him so hard. You wouldn't have lost half the units you did, I guess. So now you get the upgrade, combat shield, that's okay. Do you have Yamato cannon? Oh no, okay, you need you need, you need the Yamato cannon. For the battle cruiser. Well, I can't hear you again. I don't know what's with my sky, but I, I can't fix it. It, it. It's not the... It's not... I, I don't know. I can hear you. That's so annoying. Hmm. You need you need Yamato cannon for the battle cruiser. If you go battle cruiser, you want to have Yamato cannon researched. Yeah, okay. uh, with that, you can snipe Vikings or tanks. That's basically what makes battle cruiser really useful. Also, what you should have done is, yeah, exactly right here. In this fight. So let's see. So now you attack. And in a fight like, li like this, you want to monitor your battle cruiser. Uh, you don't have many marines, not many tanks. You want to siege the tanks. So first of all, stim the marines. Then siege the tanks. Um, then get the Yamato going. And after that, monitor your battle cruiser. And the reason for that is those units are very expensive. So by the time they get into trouble, like into the red of their hit points, like at 100 to 80 HP, 
you want to use the tactical jump ability to just jump them back into safety to some of your bases and then repair them so you can repeat this process every minute. That's what yeah. makes Battlecruiser strong. Yamato Cannon and the ability to trade without losing them. And you also need upgrades for your Battlecruiser. That's very important. Battlecruiser just get good through upgrades. Right. They need upgrades. If you have them upgraded to 3-3, they get really strong. Like this, they are quite garbage. That's the sad part. They need upgrades. So they are the super right. ultra late game unit. So now would be the time to one by one just jump them back instead of losing them. Yeah, right. use use the tactical jump. That's You could have saved four battle cruiser here. Repair them and what you can do as well if you want to. The good thing is battle cruiser are a little bit slower, but they are also more tanky than a medivac drop. So you can harass with them, you can send them with the shift command around the edges and, and attack his bases. And as soon as they get attacked and it's looking bad, you just teleport back at home, repair and repeat this process. Yeah. It will be so annoying and it doesn't cost you any units, just the money to repair them. And the good part is repairing only costs, I think, one fourth of the initial price. So the battle cruiser is, I think, 400 minerals and 300 gas. So to repair them to full life from 1 HP basically costs only 100 minerals and 75 gas, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. It's super cheap, like way cheaper than pro reproducing them. And you also don't need to wait f for them to be reproduced. So you not only spare minerals and gas, but also uh, also time. Yeah. So if you go for battle cruiser, awesome, do it. But upgrades, tactical jump. Yeah, that's that's the most important part. You need to keep those I'm bad not boys used alive. To late, so it's rare that I even do battle cruiser. Yeah. Like one and I hardly ever go battle cruiser. The nice thing about the tactical jump is, as soon as you cast it, the battle cruiser gets invulnerable. You, it can't take any more damage. Right. So it's like, uh, not not only does it jump somewhere else, but it gets some kind of shield. It's it's untargetable. Right. Units can't attack it. Storm, uh, uh, spellcaster can't do anything. Nothing works on them. They are like erased from the game. To the point where they finish the jump. That's awesome. Yeah, I need to use that. Yeah, definitely. That's that's really important. You're still on one one upgrade for your marines. I think that's what what basically costs you quite the game. Not at all, but it's one of the main factors. I don't know that if you win it or not, but if not, then that would be one of the cases. Uh, reasons. I don't know if you can hear me, but you keep on cutting out. I can hear you all the time, it's really weird. Do you win this game or do you lose this game? No, I lose. I haven't sent you any of my wins. Okay. I could have won, I think. Yes, like, like basically, it wasn't looking too bad, but you were a little bit slow with your counter attacks, and then of course the upgrades. That's that's the main part. Upgrades. You're still doing. Look, look how awesome your marines are doing. But they need they need more more upgrades. That's that's so important, especially in TVT. Marines need every upgrade they can get. Yeah. Upgrades, probably more production buildings. Mm, you are on 
Still five barracks, yeah. In the late game you can go up to maybe twelve. It doesn't matter. So in the super late game, I mean. Like, super late game. 15 to 18 minutes, I would say. Uh, depending on the game. You can go up to 12 racks, uh, 3 to 4 factories and a couple of starports. Better have it and not need it than need it and don't have it. Right. Uh, 5 racks is really not much. That's the that's problem. And of course, saturate the gas geysers. Mm. Idle workers. Yeah. You can see it's funny when your when your main base gas is still running while your natural gas geysers are expired already. Yeah. Okay. So gas geysers. Saturation. Yeah, this slowly but surely it's looking quite grim for for you. I think it doesn't go too long anyhow. No, that's Dan. I can't hear you. Was just saying that's the end, basically. Yeah. Nothing, yeah. nothing uh, from value you lost, yeah. Yeah, so... Mm, oh yeah, of course, if you go into Battlecruiser, into BCs, don't forget to still produce tanks. You don't need, like, 10 or... Yeah, 10 tanks are still okay, but... You, yeah, you need you need some tanks, basically. Not a massive amount, like 20 or anything, but 6 to 12 maybe, 10 to 14, it depends a little bit. Have have just still some tank production going on for you. In the whole game you only produced 8 tanks and that's a little bit low. Yeah, very low. Yeah. But overall, I, I, I have to say overall it wasn't bad what you did in this game. It's just mm, still the the macro, the transition, and the, the upgrades maybe. Uh, definitely the up the upgrades. Better than two weeks ago though. Definitely, of course. I think if you get all those uh, details done, like with the go up to eight racks at like eight to nine minutes, depending on how the game goes. Uh, pro I mean, you, you, the, the fun part is you out macroed him in terms of army supply with only five barracks and one factory. Mm -hmm. Now imagine having eight barracks and two factories mm -hmm. with your current macro skills. You would have been yeah. way better. You could have been all over his face the whole time. So I think what you need to focus on really focus on transition and upgrades that's that's the most parts and after that vision basically you you didn't need to harass too much some strong pushes can win you games and here definitely this would have been the case but your transition never happened i mean you did transition into starports that's okay but overall, the the factory and the barracks were missing. And then, of course, at some point you just skipped upgrades completely. But if you fix if you fix that, then it's looking really good for you. I have a very good feeling about that. Yeah, that wasn't the best game for upgrades for me. But it wasn't too bad. I mean, overall, it's very solid what you did here that was, so, uh, that was good I've just been doing that same opening the 2-1-1 opening do you have any do you think 
that there's any openings that are specifically good in specific matchups? Like something I should be doing different in TBT? Mm, so, the 2 1 1 is great. Or well, let's say good. It's not great. It's still good in TVC against Zerg and TVP. It's not widely used in TVT. So in, against Terran, you can use it, sure, but against tanks, widow mines, yeah, normally you don't go for 2-1-1 in TVT. Not the standard 2-1-1 where you drop at 5 minutes, your opponent. Mm -hmm. um, you can open up 2-1-1 as a as a setting, but then you you still get you can still get for uh, go for for stim, but instead of medivacs maybe go for Vikings initially, and throw in one or two tanks, play defensive, and then go into a strong mid game push. I'm not that familiar with two one one and TVT. I have to say I'm playing uh, gas first. Rex, Double Reaper, Expand, Hellion, with one, I, I'm playing a 1 1 1 with Raven and then into Vikings and Tanks and Stimp Marines and later on Medivax. It works as well. For now, you can still stick with the 2 1 1, but if you really want to tailor your TVT, I would try to get you uh, another build order. And if you have any replays that you've played that can display this, feel free to share it with me and I could watch, watch okay. as well. Uh, I don't know if I have any... Well, in the future, I mean, if you ever have one, you can throw my way. Yes. Otherwise, you sure can just have a look on my YouTube channel. I upload quite some games there, like two games each week. Sometimes there is a TVT, and the meta game isn't changing too fast. What works for me definitely works for you. Sure. So I, I can have a look if I have some. I can send it to you. On the but if you want to have more, then you can just check out my YouTube channel as well. Are there for this game any questions left, or do you think? That's it for this game, because then we would have had some more time left, and maybe we just go into Archon mode and do some one live game, I don't know. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I'm done with this game. Okay. So let's just see. So for, for you, basically, I, I don't think you will, to be honest with you, it's... Unlikely, I would say. It depends a little bit on your on on the opponents, but I would say it's unlikely to win the game, depending on which league they are. But you can get a feeling, or maybe for when to transition, when to do stuff. If I just dictate you what to do, I've never played Archon mode. What is that? It's basically a two versus two with only one race. So instead of me controlling one race and you controlling one race, we both control the same race. But as this is coaching, I'm just saying you what you need to do and you're playing basically a 1v2. Oh. <laughs> That's it. That, that's basically it. And we get a random which is even worse because we can't tailor our build towards it. But we will just do a little bit of freestyle then and see how it goes and it, it will be fine. But you can get a feeling for what may await you... Oh my goodness, that was loud. What may await you in the future. Like on, on stress levels, transitioning, timings and so on. And then you have an example for you. Scout them. Yeah. You need to produce and do stuff, you know. So that's already where, cool. Where are you in the game? I'm not. I'm the same. I'm just observing what you're doing. Okay. I, gotcha, I could, gotcha. I could produce 
uh, SVs and get the supply depot done and so on. But that's our combo. Okay, like now I, now I understand what it is. Two, two play people playing one race. So in this game you're quite off now, but it's still fine. I mean, you can. I, just, I would send out one SUV now to scout, like as soon as the barracks gets produced. He's already on his way out. Yeah. So barracks, more SUVs. Okay, saturate the gas. There we go. So we just need to know what's happening here before we start anything interesting. Uh, in this game you will need to go up to 20 SCVs because your barracks is so late. So there's no base for him so far at the natural. It's a TVT. Let's check his gas geyser. Okay. I would say it's oh double gas. Uh oh. So let's see if he goes for a uh, barracks. Ah, I mean a factory. And get the orbital command done. Maybe a reaper. There's the factory. Okay. Yeah, command center on the low ground. Your SCV can be a little bit annoying. Just attack some SCV. Just it's it's dead anyway. So just be annoying. Uh, co uh, command uh, supply depot. is needed. We want to get a supply depot, uh, factory. This SCV is dead. Throw down a new SCV, refinery, second reaper. Should I take my reaper up there or just leave him at home? You can put it right to this ramp. Yeah. So SCVs then lower one supply depot, exactly sent back. So after the second reaper comes the reactor, saturate the gas geyser. Okay. I would get a tech lab on the factory immediately. Reactor, okay. yeah, sent back to work, SUV. Uh, with the two reaper you might, you could scout now, but I don't know if you have the multitasking for it. Uh, this natural is ready. Yep, there you go. So you can produce a tank if you want to. There are his two reaper. Yep. And the cyclone, that's the problem. You still can get the tank. Yeah, it's a little bit late. I think this game is basically over by now. Probably. He got to Reaper. I mean, you can try to defend. If you can kill the Reaper, then that's awesome. But your SCVs are not attacking. Okay. Ah, you might just be able to hold it. Oh, the Marines, the rally point. Oh, good. So, produce some more stuff. There you go. Maybe a Viking would be nice. The tank pops out. So, maybe focus fire the cyclone first. Yeah, there you go. Maybe it's not over. So, kill the Reaper and then land the or command center and morph it into an orbital. Okay. You can definitely throw down some mules. And get your army down to your natural. Okay. Maybe get another Viking. But first, I would go for the orbital command. And then more SCVs. Then definitely siege the tank. Saturate the guy. Ah, oh, there's the Benji in the main base. So everything back to the natural. It can yeah, there's the cloak. That's a problem. So you need to wait a little bit for for the scan. Keep track of the Benji with your army. You can scan any second now. And now you can scan. Ah, oh. oh, it will escape. 
That's not nice. So we go back to producing stuff. Throwing down mules. Do I want to throw down mules or save this scan? This Benji was low on energy, so... Basically you could throw down a mule, but it, it really depends. Good good thought there, if there is if there's a second Benji, then... But we don't know, that's a problem. Maybe you can uh, go with one Reaper into his main base and scout around a little bit. You definitely need to saturate the gases soon. Yeah, there's still the Benji, but now it's out of energy. So maybe you can kill it, we will see. Definitely get and produce more stuff. Yeah, there's the second Banji. But you have a scan up pretty damn soon. So that's fine. In the natural is the Banji. Killing all your worker. This is over. <laughs> Basically, I think so, yeah. That's the thing why I don't like doing life coaching on Archon mode, but I don't have anyone who can play you can play against, that's the problem. So unless you have someone to play against, it's really difficult to, to No, that's the difficult thing. This. Where do you where do you find do you have people that you fight practice with? Mm, maybe maybe in the So there there where are do you a few find people. Yeah, so you can try out the Battle.net forum or the Team Liquid forum, you can try out Reddit or just the in-game chat, like the general chat. That That's where I would try to find people to play against. I think I may have killed one. No, the Benji is still alive. So maybe you can switch the, the factory with the barracks to get stim, produce more SCVs. I don't think you might. Uh, you might get the Benji, maybe. Yeah, now it's down. Nice. So get stim pack, get the tech lab and the reactor. Tech lab on the factory, reactor on the starport. Okay, you are heavily supply cap, sadly. Uh, there were units right here for some reason. So I think he's moving across the map with an attack. Maybe it was a drop. So, we still need supply depots. There you go. Okay. So, produce more SCVs. Okay, more Marines. Ah, there's the Benji again. Need an engineering bay. Yeah, and there's the drop with the Stim Marines. Yeah, good game. Basically. So maybe you try to find someone for for potentially the next lesson. Where we can have some games going on. It's it's easier. You need to you need to know in this game basically you were playing against someone who was just uh, concentrating on the space and the other guy just concentrating on the units on the field, so that's pretty damn difficult. Yeah. Even if they are just gold too, but they probably Skype and... You know, that's... Like, if you if you go to the chat right here, yeah, you can ask for anyone, but I would, I would try out, like, Reddit, uh, Team Liquid, or the Battle.net forum. Yeah. This is what, what would be... Best. In this game, it was also quite bad because it was against random guys, and we had a 15 seconds delay because you were unfamiliar with the Archon mode. Right. But yeah, That's all right. I mean, well, there are some some build order. I don't know if you if you are watching a lot of professional games. Yeah, I'll go on uh, Twitch and watch some people stream, and then I'll watch whatever's on YouTube. Okay. Um, if you want to have really good games, then I would definitely try to find like the best. The best source would be for me personally is Team Liquid, the Wikipedia of Team Liquid, mm -hmm. and there you have all the tournaments 
as well as the VODs, like the videos and the streams. So, for example, now right now WCS is going on, uh, GSL was just lately, and Star League as well. So those are the three big tournaments. Some Sometimes there is IEM, DreamHack. There are plenty of games you can watch. And the videos will not only be streamed, but only uh, also on YouTube or Twitch if you if you look it up. So best bet would be, in my opinion, Team Liquid. Yeah, I'll start watching that. I mean, I watch that. Watch as much as I can whenever I have time. Watch your videos. Beastie Cutie does a lot of videos on YouTube. Oh yeah, that's good. that's really good. Yeah. It it just All helps right. a little bit. So especially, I don't know. Did did I give you? SpawningTool.com. Did I yeah. show you? Okay. So there, that's that's a really awesome website where you find professional replays, professional build order, detailed explanation uh, with VODs or YouTube links for any matchup. You can sort it for timing, timing attacks, pushes, economy play, rushes, cheeses. It's huge and it's very helpful. So if you struggle yeah, in TVT, go go for it, search, and then you, if you're lucky, you find a replay you can download and you can watch it and you see okay, what are the professionals doing out on their of of their side of you? If you tr switch into their view, then you see what they are doing and why and when. So that definitely can help you out a lot, I would say. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. That's pretty good. It's it's really awesome. Well, if you just want to give me your notes of what you think I could improve on some more, and I'll just practice more, see if I can't make it up to diamond at some point. Of course, yes, sure. So let me just finish this up and send you the notes right here. Hope it's complete. So overall, I would say most thing for you still to practice on your overall macro is okay. Um, mules, muling, um, transitioning for more production facilities and upgrades. If you get that done, then vision. And basically then you should be diamond already. Seriously. Well, that's, hopefully, we'll see. That's, that's, the, that's the basic plan here. Well, if I improve, I'll let you know. Awesome, and if you need any further help, you can come back anytime and talk to me again. Uh, well, thank you for your time. I do appreciate it. I'm so glad I could help you. Let me know when you hit diamond, okay? I will, okay. Awesome. All right, okay, bye -bye. then have a good one. Bye. Bye. Hey, oh there. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions, put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day, take care, bye bye. Thank you.